For many years now, people have said that the more data you have on your hard drive, the slower your computer will be, especially when it reaches around 70 to 80% full. But is this really true? Well, today we're going to find out by running some tests. At the moment, the hard drive in this computer is 60% full, and we're going to make it 70% full, 80% full, 90% and close to 100% to see what happens to the computer's speed. The hard drive I'm using for this test is a 2.5 inch solid state drive. It has Windows 10 on it, a few programs and quite a bit of data as well. I ran some tests on this computer earlier with the hard drive at 60% full and I show you those results at the bottom of the screen now. So now we're going to fill the hard drive at 70% full to see if this has any effect on the computer. So the first test is the computer restart. I'll leave the results from the previous test from when the hard drive was 60% full on the right side of the screen so that we can see if the computer has slowed down at all as we go along. The hard drive is currently 70% full which is around when many people say the computer will slow down. So this will be interesting to see if there's any difference. Well, the computer has restarted in 23 seconds, just like last time. Next, we'll see how long it takes to start up the Heaven benchmarking tool. I'll start the stopwatch when I've clicked on the run button. When the hard drive was 60% full, this only took 12 seconds to start. So let's see how long it takes this time. Once the benchmarking screen starts up, I'll stop the stopwatch. OK, so that took around the same amount of time. I did actually use this benchmarking app and the frames per second were the same whether the hard drive was 60% full or 70% full so no change on the frames per second so far when benchmarking. In this test I'm copying and pasting a folder that has about 1 gigabyte of data from the computer and onto a USB flash drive so the computer's hard drive is being read from and the flash drive is being written to Therefore, to a certain extent, we're seeing if the read speed of the hard drive has been affected when copying files to another device. So far, this is looking similar to the last test result. And, yep, it's the same speed at 70% as it was when the drive was 60% filled. Now we're going to copy and paste a file from the USB flash drive and onto the main hard drive. So this is somewhat testing the hard drive's write speed at 70% full. OK, so all of the tests have come out the same so far. So having the hard drive at 70% full has made no difference to the speed, but let's fill it up to 80% full now to see if that makes any difference. So this is the computer restart test with the hard drive at 80% full. Many say that the computer will slow down when the hard drive is this full. Well, we'll soon find out. I've turned off Windows Update temporarily for all of these tests because if Windows Update started running on one test but not on another that would not be a fair comparison especially when restarting the computer. So last time the computer restarted in 23 seconds and this time it's taken 25 seconds. Now let's start up the Heaven benchmarking app to see how long it takes to load the starting screen. In both tests previous to this it took 12 seconds to load this program, but will it make a difference now the hard drive is 80% full? Well, no. It's the same. I also benchmarked the computer again using this program, but still got the same frames per second, give or take a few frames, which is within margin of error. So this is transferring a folder with about 1 gigabyte of data from the hard drive to a USB flash drive. In the last two tests, this took 19 seconds to complete. By the way, the computer doesn't generally feel any slower so far when browsing around the computer and opening up files and folders. So the one gigabyte file is just about there. And once again, this took 19 seconds. Now we'll copy the same one gigabyte folder from the USB flash drive and onto the main hard drive. Last time this took seven seconds and this time it's taken seven seconds again. So the speed of this computer did change a little bit when the hard drive was 80% full, but only very slight changes in speed. And this can be due to something going on in the background whilst the test was running. 
So now let's make this hard drive 90% full to see if that makes any difference. So back to the restart test with the hard drive at 90% full. So if many are saying that the computer will slow down when the drive is 70 to 80% filled, surely there will be a difference when the drive is 90% full. The drive I'm using is only 120 gigabytes in size. It has 10% space left, which works out to only just over 10 gigabytes of space on the hard drive. Okay, so the restart took 24 seconds. That's actually one second quicker than the last time. Now to open the Heaven benchmark. Every time so far, this program has taken 12 seconds to start up. Could it be that opening a program now takes longer when the drive is more full? Are we going to see our first real slowdown? Well, no, it's 12 seconds again. I ran this benchmarking tool to see what frames per second I would get on this, and again, it made no difference. So this is a one gigabyte folder being transferred from the hard drive to a USB flash drive. In all the other tests, this has taken 19 seconds to complete. Sometimes when copying files like this, you can experience quite a big slowdown in the transfer speed, but this is normally due to the buffer becoming full up and has nothing to do with how much hard drive space is being taken up. Okay, so that took four seconds longer than it did on the other tests. And now to transfer the one gigabyte folder from the USB flash drive and onto the computer's hard drive. In the other tests, this took seven seconds and it's seven seconds this time too. So the computer's still showing no signs of slowing down, even when the hard drive is 90% full. A few slight variations, but nothing major. So now let's fill the hard drive to almost 100% filled to see if that makes any difference. So back to the restart test, with the drive at close to 100% filled. Whilst the computer is restarting, I'll show you how full the hard drive is. When I filled up the drive, it only had 50 megabytes of space left remaining, but a Windows feature called Storage Sense kicked in and deleted some of the temporary files to give me one gigabyte of space on the hard drive. Windows Storage Sense can also delete files from the recycle bin if it needs to. Okay, so the restart took 23 seconds. So now let's open the Heaven Benchmark app for the last time to see how long it takes to open. So far, this has taken 12 seconds to start in every test we've run. And this time, with the dry field to over 99%, it's taken 12 seconds. So exactly the same as the other four tests. And when running the actual Heaven benchmark, the frames per second were still the same. And now to copy the one gigabyte folder from the computer to a USB flash drive. It's surprising that this computer has showed no real signs of slowing down so far. The computer still feels very responsive too, when opening various windows and files and going on the internet. Okay, so that took 18 seconds, which is faster than any time before. So the final test, copy and paste the one gigabyte folder from the USB flash drive to the computer's hard drive. Thanks to Windows Storage Sense, there is enough room to add this file onto the computer. Well, that took one second longer than normal. So what does these test results show us? Well, the computer didn't slow down, even when the hard drive was almost 100% filled. To most casual computer users, they wouldn't notice any difference in speed, unless there was actually time in their computer. One of the problems with having a hard drive mostly filled is that any time the hard drive is written to, the same cells in the hard drive will be written to again and again, and this shortens the life of the hard drive. Also, another problem is that if your system memory is full and the hard drive needs to be used as system memory as well, but your hard drive is full up, then there's going to be a problem there. One thing to take into consideration is that I filled the hard drive with mostly just files, but not programs. Obviously, if you have a lot of programs on your computer, that will slow down your computer by itself, but that has nothing to do with how full your hard drive is. All in all, I would still recommend having around 15 to 20% space on your hard drive. This will help preserve the life of the hard drive and give it some breathing space for other tasks too. So that's it for this video. 
please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.